Today we're going to be going over upgrading our front panel to the king front panel which places the stock screen in a far better location for viewing while printing. This is a fairly simple and straightforward upgrade that only requires a few screws, a couple of nuts, and about half of a roll of filament to complete. Once the print finishes, it's just a quick 5 minute install. Links to the required files, as well as the M3 screws and nut kit will be linked below, but these screws and nuts can also be purchased from most hardware stores. To get started, after your print finishes of course, you'll want to remove your front panel. Before removing the panel, make sure to remove your micro SD card to prevent it from damaging the board when removing the cover. After it's removed, remove the three M2.5 screws that hold the faceplate on. Once they're removed, simply pull the faceplate forward to unlatch it from the back, then lift it up slightly so you can unplug the LCD screen. The ribbon cable just slides in and does not lock so there are no tabs you have to worry about releasing or pressing. Once it's removed, we want to make sure we have enough slack in the ribbon cable. Just lift up on the black holder to get the hot glue to release, then unlatch the metal connector to remove it completely as it's not needed. Move the cable toward the center and let's move on. When it comes to removing the LCD and knob from the original cover, it's quick and easy. For the knob, just lift up and it should pop off rather easily, it's just slotted into the grooves of the adjuster wheel. For the LCD screen, it's just four M2.5 screws that hold it on, and these can be reused with the new front cover. Simply unscrew all four, gently remove the screen, and then bring your new cover over to begin installing it. When installing the LCD into the printed cover, make sure not to over tighten the screws as it can strip out the plastic fairly easily. For the adjustment knob, just slide it back over the spindle and press it down. You don't have to worry about the angle for it as it does reset each time you turn the printer on and off. Next up is to attach the two end brackets onto the center piece. You could do this before putting the screen on, I just uh, chose to do it now afterward for no particular reason. Just use two M3 by 6mm screws to attach the end brackets to the center, making sure not to over tighten the screws in stripping out the plastic. Next, we need to prepare five T-nuts. I printed them out and then press in M3 hex nuts since I didn't have any laying around. Once all five are prepared, go ahead and place them into the front rail, aiming to get them approximately where the holes in the faceplate are, which would be two on the left, one in the center, and two on the right. Once that's done, it's time to bring the front panel over and connect the ribbon cable. Once it's connected, line up your front panel cover and grab your screws.
With the faceplate approximately in place, go ahead and match the T-nuts to their respective holes. It makes getting your screws in notably easier, though it doesn't stop me from messing it up and missing the holes at least a few times now. For the five top screws, you'll want to use M3 by 8mm screws at the least as it makes it far easier to grab the T-nuts. If your T-nut isn't quite where you need it to be, use the tip of your screwdriver to pull or push them around to where you need them to be. For the front two screws, you can choose to either reuse two of the M2.5 screws that you removed at the beginning, or use two M3 by 6mm screws to attach it. I chose to use the M3s as then all of the screws matched. And that's it. I personally think it's a pretty nice aesthetic upgrade, and does offer a bit of functionality, though I don't use the screen all that much since I have Octoprint set up. But if you like the content I'm putting out, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all new content as it comes out. Thanks so much for watching, take care.